my husband and I were watching a show called Sunday Morning, and on it uh, there was a feature about a gentleman in India who was putting together some tiffins, which would be like lunches, for people who lived on the streets in India. He had received a grant from TPP. And then you know, the program went on to talk to the founder of TPP on how he hoped to give a grant today to people who wanted to change the world. So I applied for a grant, got a grant, and my students and I in my science class, we helped build some cars for children with mobility issues. Being a grant advisor in, in the education panel has actually allowed me to see the wonderful things that are still happening in the world, especially in education. Now that I'm retired, it shows me that there are people out there who value reading, who value education, who are building things and innovative things that are actually helping children who um, want to learn and especially children in environments where you know, getting to school is very difficult. I find that it allows me to have faith and hope in the fact that the world is a, is a good place to be. But there are people out there who are hoping to make the world a better place and these seed grants are actually a way of allowing them to do so. Well, I was privileged enough to be on the COVID-19 team and um, got to read a lot of applications and a lot of questions about, you know, hand sanitizers or masks or finding ways to feed people. Everybody was growing a garden, which was wonderful. But out of all those applications, the one that really hit home for me was from an applicant in India or Pakistan, I don't know, I'm not sure right now, who um, had gone around and had seen a lot of the street workers were having a real problem because they had no way of sustaining their livelihood. The government uh, saw them as non-people and because of that stat status, they were not welcome to any of the safety measures that were in place for regular people. Uh, that one hit home in many ways. One of them because I had never thought of people as non-people. No matter what you do, whether you're a street person or you're a homeless person, you're still a human being. But the fact that it, it brought home that many of us just walk by um, people living on the street. And here we have these people who are basically serving doing a job that nobody else wants to do and, um, and being treated as the lowest of the low. And here was this applicant trying to find ways to have these people survive, not only survive this terrible virus that's going around, but also to survive so that they can continue some kind of livelihood as well. And that one hit hard. So I just find being part of this family has allowed me also to to reach out to other people just like myself who feel that you know there are really good things happening and in the world so any day you feel really lousy and you feel gosh you know this world is coming to what is this world coming to um to keep in mind those wonderful people out there who are trying to do something that will definitely make a difference in someone's life so thank you for the opportunity.